Thank you, Madam Speaker. And first of all, I'd like to say, uh, before I begin, how very absolutely grateful I am to traditional public educators. I'm a pro product of, of a proudly a product of public education. My children are public school students. We have some of the absolute best public educators in the entire country. And none of us here in this chamber are sitting here today with a finger pointed or making an indictment against the public school system or teachers or anyone. Here's what we're saying. Students, the, the most important, the most critical, and probably more important, the persons with the most appropriate moral basis to make decisions with regard to our children are parents. Imagine that. The notion that parents should have a seat at the table to decide what happens to their children. You know, Madam Speaker, members, I was a little bit taken back because in some ways I thought that maybe some members of this chamber thought that school administrators actually knew better than parents. Well, I for one continue to believe that I know what's best for my four kids. And I would venture to say that every single one of you in this chamber think that you know what's best for your kids. This bill does not give parents the final say. It does not give parents the determinative say. It gives parents some input. Can that be so bad, members? Let's give parents the opportunity to say what they want to happen with their schools, their children's perennially failing schools. I urge you to support this bill because our parents and their children deserve it. Thank you. With that, I yield my time.